WBC Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with gold trim, hailing from Nogales, Sonora, Mexico. He weighed in at 121 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 25 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated WBC number six ranked world contender, the undefeated Aaron Alameda. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner in this vacant world title attraction enters the ring wearing gold trunks with black trim fighting out of his home of Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. His weight 121 and one half pounds. He also is undefeated in his campaign with a record of 30 wins, no losses, 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBC number one super bantamweight contender. Tonight seeking his 12th consecutive knockout win. Here is the former WBC bantamweight champion of the world. Introducing the hard hitting and undefeated Luis Pantera Neri. And once again a referee in charge. Now to give instructions is Michael Ortega. Caballeros. Buena suerte a los dos. También un pelea buena y limpia. Gracias. Referee Michael Ortega working his 282nd professional bout. It is set for 12 rounds or less. As Luis Neri. And Aron Alameda put their undefeated records at stake in this contest that is all Mexican, all Southpaw, and all of us are hoping all action. You know, what makes that 11 uh, fight KO streak even more impressive for Natty is that six of his last 10 opponents were either world champions or former world champions. So that, that means when you've scored 11 straight knockouts with that kind of competition, that's impressive. Neri in the gold with a black while his opponent Al Ameda in his first title fight is in blue with gold. Al Ameda with the jab and there's that lead catapult like overhand left by Neri. And Neri's saying that he chose Al Ameda because he knows and he feels he could go rounds with him. I Meaning he knows he's a great boxer and, and Al Ameda he is that he is a great Counterpuncher. He's a great southpaw, a, a boxer. Abner, you of course uh, spent time in Mexico honing your skills, and for Alameda, he actually took a, a different route than many Mexican fighters, uh, opting for an extensive amateur career instead of turning pro as a teenager. A guy that you know, of course. Uh, I mean, in Mexico, you see that a lot. A lot of fighters, either. They, they go the long route, which is long sometimes, you know, uh, amateur style, or just turning pro right away. Alameda, you could, you could see he's got, the, he's got a pedigree. He's got a great style. Yeah, Neri's uh, trainer, Eddie Reynoso, of course, has uh, mentioned training Canelo, who turned pro at 15. You know, I talked about the record of Neri's uh, uh, oh. recent opponents, but for um, Alameda, their last five opponents are 85, 49, and 7. Now, in basketball or football, that would be good. In boxing, not so much. So, um, you know, he hasn't faced top competition. But as I said, and we're already seeing it, he's a talented fighter. So it doesn't mean he can't step up and win this fight. Exactly. It takes that one good fighter to really get your name out there. You know, I myself, before being considered one, one of the best, you know, I fought a Victor Chini and people didn't know about me. And, and, and something about this weight class, and I have not mentioned, is that, you know, this was my weight class yes. back in the day, 118, 122. So it brings back a lot of memories. Oh, well, there's a counter left hand by Neri, but some good stuff here in the first round as the double jab from we're just getting started here in what should be a tremendous 12-round fight. It's Luis Neri, no power, Alameda. 13 of his 25 victories have come inside the distance. Time. Looking to bring the pressure here and starting round number two. And again, a, a clash of uh, lefties.
Alameda said he's happy he's fighting a lefty. He said, I like it. I like when I'm fighting another lefty. It, it feels more comfortable to me. So we'll see how that plays itself out. Last week, Terrell Gaucher didn't like facing his fourth consecutive no, lefty man. against Erickson <laughs> Lubin, but... We're seeing that, right? Four straight, three straight. Yeah. I haven't really come across that much in my <laughs> boxing broadcasting career with streaks like that uh, with Southpaws, Abner. Yeah, I mean, now you see a lot more Southpaws. Uh, back in the days, you know, they weren't. And really, you didn't want to face them because they were really uncomfortable to face. You know, now you see them more and, and people are getting more comfortable. And we got two of them in the ring. So if you are a lefty, you don't mind seeing a lefty, <laughs> and, I guess. And we do have uh, natural uh, right-handers like uh, Alameda, who fights left-handed. Under, uh, well, one minute is gone here in the second, and Neri, uh, calculated pressure now going inside with a combination, but Alameda looks to stick the jab. He has a very good jab, Alameda, and you know, the, the, that's the one thing that can disrupt a oh. power puncher, but there's Natty using his. Yeah, disrupting yes. Alameda. Yeah. I mean, a way to get that out is by jabbing with him or having a more powerful jab, and that's what Neri is trying to do. One of the things about Natty, he also has a good chin. He fought Arthur Villanueva, and he went down from a punch. And yet, I'm saying he had a good chin because he got hit with a monstrous right hand, went down, got up, and then stopped uh, Villanueva not too long after that. So he, he can be in firefights and still you know, find his way through because he has such a good chin. Yeah, Neri's been down a total of three times. Alameda has never hit the deck. In this now his 26 fight, 25 and 0, 13 KOs against Luis Neri, 30 and 0 with 24 wins via former KO. You know this may change on a moment's notice in this fight, but right now the tempo of the fight is what Alameda wants. You know they're fighting at distance. He's able to use his jab, um, and uh, and he's controlling the tempo of the fight. Is Neri pulling a Floyd Mayweather and others looking to collect that data here in the Could be. first couple rounds? But you're right, it is Alameda. Yes. And, and Neri's known for his pressure fighting. And I think it has to do a lot with Neri trying different things, trying to box, you know, different side from Neri. Most of the time we see him just being a pressure fighter. Oh, Alameda just missing with the right hook. And now the action beginning to pick up a bit here in the final seconds of the second. Uh, I mean, uh, give me the winner of Alameda or Neri or uh, give me the rematch with uh, MJ or, you know, there's a WBO champion, a champion uh, Angelo Leo. Oh, you know? fa fantastic. Dan, appreciate the time. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. All right, Mo, back to you. All right, BC Roman going back to watch this fight with vested interest, of course, uh, as he's already mentioned, Luis Neri. Of course, Aron Alameda would like to spoil that fight and put himself in the mix. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about Neri moving up in weight, but Alameda's been high as 122, only one of his 11 most recent bouts. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we, we could undersell the fact that this is a new weight class for him. Uh, and yes, we've seen him. He's been a monster uh, at a weight below this. And, uh, and of course, at lower weights, he's also had trouble making weight. He did not have trouble making weight for this fight. And he is definitely standing in front of uh, Neri. And, and in fact, after... Uh, the jab is there, and the, the technique and the, the movement of Alameda's. Yeah, re really confusing Neri there with that jab. Every time he throws a jab, he turns. He keeps turning, and he's making Neri turn. It's just a matter of time uh, for Alameda, you know, for, for him to let, let go of that left. You know, I, I said earlier that he passed the eye test when you watch video of him. No, he's not faced the kind of competition Neri has. But... But you, he knows how to fight, and we're seeing that. Both of, of them took up the sorry. No, that's okay. No, and, and I was going to say, of course, that can change with one big left hand from Nettie, but right now he's boxing extremely well. Yeah, they've yet to taste a feed, and we'll see if uh, how much they taste each other's power as Alameda and Neri now beginning to pick up the pace, the tempo, and there's that jab from Neri, follows up with the left hand. 
And you know, Alameda's not afraid to stand in the pocket no. with him. It's not like he's running around the ring from this power puncher. He's he's there in he's, front of him. He's, he's playing with that Fuego he, Abner. He's in the middle of the ring. He's just turning. He's just turning. He's not running away from it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I There's mean. a good combination by Neri culminating with that right uppercut on the inside. Leads with the right and going downstairs with a couple of lefts. <laughs> Both men, you mentioned it, Marl, they've picked up their offensive pace. Yeah, they have in the final 25 seconds of the third round. And there's a nice left cross that connects for Alameda. They have yet to really hurt each other, but they're definitely, again, looking to pick up the pace. And Alameda, again, pot shotting, but scoring with the uh, effective punches as we... And round at number three. That is what they say is their real coming up party here on pay-per-view, but let's not forget what Jason Rosario is capable of doing as he upset Julian Williams. So that's still to come tonight, but right now it's round number four. Luis Neri, known as a brutal puncher against Aaron Alameda, who is thus far taking the fight to Neri. Yeah, and you know, how you see these rounds is an interesting question. Again, like our last fight, we're seeing rounds that are close, and uh, they could be going either way for these fighters. And you, sometimes you raise your expectations for a fighter like Alameda, who came in as the underdog, so maybe you give him more credit than you should for rounds. I mean, that's a question. And, and yet you also may be influenced by Neri's reputation as being the, the power puncher yeah. and maybe over... That, but you're right. It's a very true. close fight, and here comes Neri. And, and you're right. Uh, uh, you, and you got to give credit to Alameda because he, he's, he's doing a great, a fantastic job, I should say. Not just yeah. great, fantastic, of, of jabbing and not cornering himself or going to the ropes. He keeps churning and and, 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 and really bothering a Neri with that jab. Again, I hope he and waiting for him to let go of that left. He does it here and then. There, and he lands it really well, so hopefully he, he lets that left go a little bit more. Yeah, he does want to overcommit early in this match, for sure. And Alameda telling us, you know, if obviously at this level, professionally, you've got to be able to adapt. He says if he needs to put pressure on, he will. If he needs to box, he will. He's a boxer puncher, and, and he's definitely showing the boxing aspect here in the first uh, third of the fight. See Natty there throwing comedy. He's a good combination player. That was a nice left hand. That's probably the first really good left that Natty oh. has gotten in. Yeah, he got a couple there now that popped Alameda's head back. And Neri now trying to put together combinations, trying to uh, press the uh, the foot, uh, the gas pedal here, Abner. Yes, and th there's that pressure we're talking about from Netty. A little, you know, oh, before nice. he was wow. just churning with, with Alameda, he was churning with him, and now he's walking forward and pressuring Alameda. The other element is that Neri is using his jab much more effectively now. <laughs> Neri just missed with that uppercut. Oh, four punch combination by Neri. 15 seconds left. Uh, Alameda scores with a punch, but a, a better effort for Luis Neri, as Al mentioned, trying to establish the jab, landing some power shots, but Aron Alameda isn't going anywhere as we are through four rounds. Full deal. And he will get his chance against Charlo coming up in our main event as Jermel Charlo and Jason Rosario, unified titles at 154. Now it's round number five, Neri and Alameda at 122. You know, the date for this fight changed several times, and Alameda's uh, folks made the point. It's really hard to... And I'm sure Netty had the same problem. Hard to train for this because they would stop and start and stop and start. And finally, here we are uh, with them in the ring. So it's very tough on fighters when that happens. A couple of fencing jabs by Alameda and Neri as they attack the upper torso. 
of their opponent. And uh, one minute now elapsed here in the fifth and some fainting from Alameda, but really trying to utilize his technique to try to tame the power puncher. Neri's really effective when he pressures. Uh, again, I, I don't know if he's just trying to show something different, something that he worked in the gym uh, against Alameda. I mean, I could, you know, easily say that, but, you know, it could also be Alameda's jab and, mm -hmm. and, and footwork and, and move him. But but I'm used to seeing a Neri, pressure Neri, a, a guy that would back you up and put you on the ropes. Neri, uh, of course, uh, many people were looking forward to him appearing on the show and in this spot, of course, the penultimate matchup on a night where the twin Charlos headline, but Alameda, don't want to discount his power as well, showing off his boxing technique, and I, I know, granted against lesser competition, but 24 of his 30 wins have come by way of KO. Yeah, and he feels that he feels that if he can make, as you mentioned earlier, Neri make a mistake, he feels like he'll make him feel his power. We'll see. And I'll tell you, that if it's going to happen, it's going to happen with the uppercut. He's got a great uppercut. Triple jab. He's got a pretty good stick as well. Uh, 45 seconds left in the fifth frame. And uh, Luis Neri still just trying to find his rhythm, find his method of attack, showcasing his boxing and exactly he's looking really he's looking uncomfortable i want yeah. to say nary you could tell little little footwork there he, little bounce trying to get his oh, rhythm and there we go that was a nice yeah. sequence for nary and, and it's it, sometimes you need that you need to take a little step back catch a breather you know try to figure out what's going on oh well, they're stepping in now and trying to compete at close quarters as alameda trying to avoid the offense of nary which has definitely uh Awoken here in the final seconds of the fifth. Oh, so he was the 2019 trainer of the year. As we begin round number six, you're watching 122 pound action between Luis and Neri, undefeated at 30 and 0, and Aaron Alameda. He too is yet to taste defeat at 25 and 0, and Neri now beginning to pick up the pace. And those. You know, in the first five rounds here, we're not sure how the judges are looking at it. Some of those rounds were very close. But we know one thing. We know that Neri is not doing what he wants to 100% offensively yet. That doesn't mean he's losing the rounds necessarily. But um, as Abner said, he's a little uncomfortable. And the question is whether Alameda is doing enough offensively to take advantage of that. And what has made Neri most uncomfortable is is that jab by mm -hmm. Alameda. You are correct, sir. And not Two only, weeks in yeah, a row, Al. Not wow. only the jab. I mean, you, you jab. You could jab someone in the face and, and still be able to get in, but he jabs and turns. Mm. Now, Neri going to the jab momentarily, avoiding, well, didn't avoid that left hand, but he's allowing... Alameda to attack, and uh, Eddie Reynoso mentioning that Alameda wasn't a good counter puncher and to try to take advantage of that. You know, to, to, to kind of buttress the power of Neri, he has scored 12 knockdowns in his last five fights. So, yeah. you know, this is a guy that knocks people down a lot. And looking to uh, record his 12th straight yeah. knockout victory. And now, and you heard Reynoso talk about Abner, the, the punches to the shoulder. Obviously, clean effect of punching is, is how you score, but those shots to the shoulder and the arm, well, you can slow down an opponent in a hurry. Oh, definitely. You, you get, you know, those those shots on the shoulder that bring your, your guard down, you know, they, they hurt, you know, they take a toe within rounds. And, and an interesting oh. thing about the power punching you were talking about, I mean, let's... Let's remind people that Neri is moving up in weight. Yes. So, I mean, did he Good carry that, that power to this weight class? That's a question, but Neri now with an uptick in his offense, and he's uh, using the jab a little more here in the sixth. Yeah, he's had himself a pretty good offensive round here in the sixth round. Another jab from Alameda, and Alameda just picking his spots. What's interesting, though, that Abner, you know, alluded to, we're used to seeing Neri as just a an attacker. Yeah. He hasn't been that tonight. It is uh, surprising, but then again, I have to, well, we'll get to it in the next round. You wonder, you know, yeah. a lot of credit to Alameda. 
as we go to the second half of this 12 round bout contested at 122 pounds number seven the second half of this 12 round fight and are we going to see Luis Neri now be the Luis Neri we are accustomed to or is our own Alameda going to continue to do a good job of trying to stymie the offense and and keep him at bay with the jab I mean, Neri talked about, I mean, there, there were some interviews where we where talked about, you know, getting some rounds in boxing, showing some difference. So I don't know if that has to do with it. Maybe he, well, he's not trying he's as having much. a good start here, and with, now, especially with yeah, the power shots. And now we're seeing a more aggressive Neri. Steve Farhood, how do you have it at the midpoint? Well, there have been, a, especially early in this fight, there have been a few close rounds, but I have Neri ahead. It's interesting. It's the way he's doing it. It's a little bit of a surprise. We all expected some kind of explosion. But keep in mind, the official judges don't go into fights with expectations. They see right. what's in front of them. And I see Neri with the left hand being the difference in this fight, in a fight where Alameda is jabbing very well, but not following up with the left hand that much. You are scoring the fight. You're watching the score. I, I just wonder, uh, Abner, do you, do you agree with uh, Steve's scorecard in terms of what you've been watching? And this is the subjective nature of boxing. <laughs> I mean, th there's close rounds. Um, I, I do want to agree with him. And I, another thing I want to agree with him is that uh, Alameda, he's got a great jab. And we kept saying that he's not letting that left hand go. Right. And, and when he does, he lands really well. I don't know if he's... I mean, he's being cautious. He, he, he's felt already Neri's power. Or that's just, that's just the, his temper. I, I think he's beginning to taste uh, Neri's power. And, and, and to Steve's point, Neri's uh, shots, and we mentioned it too, are, are definitely more eye-catching and more uh, impactful. And also you see Neri try, uh, starting to uh, faint and just create a more aggressive posture. Under a minute left here in round seven, and uh, things are getting more aggressive. And here come those exchanges that we expected. And this is uh, the kind of fight that Almeida said he would want from Neri. And Neri's starting to bring the fight to Almeida. And the body work of Luis Neri is just excellent in this round. There's a reason they, you know, it's either, well, in this case, 12 rounds and Despite uh, expectations, reputations, every fight is is a different arena. And Neri now beginning to assert himself and really putting together some great punches. And Alameda definitely slowing down a bit. Yeah, he's feeling the power of Neri. There's no question. And we're seeing a little bit more of a jab from Neri. Good round for Luis Neri. They had a little more impact. Round at number eight, and uh, Luis Neri, of course, uh, with uh, devastating punching power. Uh, just ask um, potential future Hall of Famer Shinsuke Yamanaka, who was dethroned by Neri in their rematch, and uh, it sent Yamanaka into retirement. So at any time, Neri is capable of detonating. And he got those victory, two victories over him in Japan, mm. which is even more impressive. Neri measuring Alameda. Alameda able to sneak in the jab. They were aware, obviously, you know, Arnold Bravo in his corner that. Uh, that he did not do well in that last round, and they want him to be to let his hands go a little more. Of course, that's a danger when you do that. Steve Farhood has Neri building his lead, and and he's doing it in a, in a different fashion. Uh, talking to a lot of uh, experts and journalists, they expected Neri to just exert nonstop pressure and just deliver a you know a plethora of power punches, but there are levels and they're different shades to a fighter and in this case Neri uh, showing different wrinkles against Alameda and, and I'm not mad at that I'm not mad at this style that, that Neri is showing he's being effective he's winning rounds he's showing a different boxing style and he said he was you know now with Eddie Reynoso in his corner I mean he's showing defense 
Uh, great jab, but um, I mean, it, it's always exciting to see a forward, you know, explosive now. A great point uh, with Eddie Reynoso, of course, uh, training him for the first time and obviously wanting to shore up uh, some deficiencies or weaknesses that he has visualized. And yeah, here we are, a minute left in, in round number eight. Not necessarily the type of fight we expected. Now, while I do agree that uh, Neri has uh, maybe won most of the rounds, I got to say I feel it's a little closer than, uh, than Steve suggests. We'll see. He may be 100% oh. right. But Is I there going to be a fight closer. after school? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're going we're gonna to get into it later on. <laughs> No, I just think it's a little no, I closer. Understand. I, 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 I tend to agree <laughs> with This me. card is extending, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not... <laughs> hey, it's a twin bill. Uh, 25 seconds now left in the eighth. Alameda also hasn't really made many adjustments, and there he no. eats a couple of punches from Neri. And I do think Neri's winning this fight. Yes. Neri going to the body. Misses wildly and gets countered by Alameda. Ten. Agrees with our assessment to, that he wants to see more pressure now from Luis Neri. Here, round number nine. And I kind of understood what Alameda, I mean, Neri said. He asked uh, Eddie if the fight was close mm. or if it was, a, it was tied. What, what do you read into that when a fighter at this stage asks a question like that, Abner? Well, that, you know, he feels he's not doing enough. He knows that. And especially when you know you can do more. Uh, I think he's not, he's feeling, he's feeling too comfortable on the outside. So he, he's got to go back to the old Nary. And he has uh, won the battle of the, uh, the body punches. According to show stats, he's landed 38 body punches, only nine by Alameda. Yeah, Alameda's really singular weapon has just been the jab, and now Neri is trying to build up momentum and, and definitely more active, but Alameda's jab is still there. But there's no follow-up. There's no left hand. And, and we got to give Alameda credit uh, of what he's doing. I mean, it, it, sometimes it... It, it just takes a jab to make a, a fight or a fighter uncomfortable, and I think Alameda is doing that. That was a beautiful left hook behind the guard, right uppercut combination by Neri. We mentioned Neri's been down three times, while Alameda has never been down, but again has never faced someone with the punching power of Luis Neri and with 111 left here in the ninth. And the ninth round has been really a jabbing contest for the most part. Yes. And, and Neri jabbing from the outside, uh, I mean, it's been coming a, a jab contest, but when Neri jabs going inside, that yes. is when he's effective. Exactly. He's not using the jab to pave his way to get inside. Yes. He's just staying out there and using it. And now made up, trying to get the uh, inside there. Their, their battle, of course, of lead feet here, Southpaw versus Southpaw. Good exchange, and Neri getting the better of it, with especially the right. And there it is, right on cue. The jab going in forward. He's comfortable in there, and there, and he made he he landed with the body work. Wow, that was a great left hand by Alameda. That's one of his best moments. It's the left we were waiting for. Yeah. And yet it's barely bothered Luis Neri as we head to round number ten. So for the first time in his professional career, Aron Alameda sees round at number 10 against Luis Neri, a battle of undefeated fighters competing at 122 pounds. And neither man has, uh, has been 12 before. There's a stiff jab to the midsection of Neri by Alameda, but again, Abner, it's becoming a recurring theme. He's, he's a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Yes, both are <laughs> a jab. Um, again, Neri, once he starts getting that little bounce in his legs, you know, that lets you know that he's going to try to work his way inside. Let's see if we see it this round. 
So oh, good combination by Lameda, but yeah. uh, Neri took some of it off. Again, like I said, he, he, uh, Alameda, when he lets that left hand go, he, he's dangerous. One would think he would use it more than it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't know why he doesn't. Is it the respect again? I mean, uh, Abner, how much there do you is. make of that? We, we as media, we keep talking, respecting the power, respecting the power. At this stage, you you, you got to take chances. It's, it's the power, the 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 fighter you have in front of you. He's heard of Nary, obviously. The stage. Nary it's a continues to fight. the body. So it's a lot. Good exchange of close quarters. And you can, you can make the case that Neri himself has not thrown his left hand as much as he should have. Right. Mm. Counter right by Alameda uh, that got there. You've got to be careful with that punch. Cuffing right hook by Alameda, but they, uh, again, I like the fact they're trying to mix it up. They, mm -hmm. I mean, Alameda obviously more the, the headhunter, but uh, some body work, and uh, Neri just using the entire legal uh, part of the anatomy. Alameda taking this round. Yeah, no question. I mean, I think he's fighting a very good round and uh, block, blocking some of those shots. Yeah. Good wing block. There's the uppercut. Now, I, I mentioned way back a while ago in the keys, <laughs> if you can remember, uh, I had the uppercut for Alameda. He has a good one. He just hasn't thrown it much. He did a moment ago. Now, Alameda starting to put together some combinations. Double jab through splits the guard of Neri and Neri finding it hard to, to get get on track here and he keep actually yeah he's tasting that jab some swelling under the left eye and Alameda really sticking the jab in the face of Neri oh there oh, the it is, uppercut there it is Neri. Yeah. under 30 seconds left in Alameda's best round of the fight he did not read my keys to victory <laughs> now. and it only he took 10 keys. rounds for him to wake up and realize that hey you know I, I, I can win this fight mm -hmm. terrific round four Aaron Alameda, and we are coming down to the final six minutes of this fight. You know, and again, different opponents than Luis Neri, but he got it in there that time. Round 11, ain't no party like an uppercut party, because an uppercut party <laughs> hopefully doesn't stop here as we get into the, the final, the home stretch. And Alameda looking to build off the 10th round, while Luis Neri, well... He needs to try to find a way to close the gap and utilize that fight ending power. And you know, we don't know, uh, you know, what's happening in the judge with the judges, but Eddie Reynosa clearly telling his man, you have to go out and take this fight. Uh, I don't know that he thinks he's behind, but he feels that, you know, a, well, a big part of this evening is showing you're the man at 122 pounds. So I, absolutely, I want to do that. And a lot of close rounds, but I'll tell you, Alameda in the last couple really starting to, yeah. to put it together here and avoids that sweeping left hook from Al uh, Neri, avoids that one, encounters with a stiff jab. And Alameda really placing his punch as well, Abner, here yes. in round 11. Really believing in himself now, really getting that confidence. Sometimes it happens. It takes. It took ten, ten rounds. Not saying that he was doing bad before. Right. He, he was doing a fantastic job, job with the jab, you know, body work. But now he's really letting his hands go. A lot of people thought that Luis Neri would, well, maybe dominate a guy like Aron Alameda. But this is why they fight the fights, and this is why Aron Alameda, undefeated, making the most of his opportunity to fill the title vacancy left by the injured Ray Vargas. And now he is starting to throw the left hand a little bit, uh, Alameda. And he's he's now created a situation where Neri is not wanting to just rush in. Under a minute now left in the 11th round, the jab for Alameda. Neri just trying to find a way to close the gap but Abner he he's, he's stuck he is stuck he, he, he he's not doing enough to to make uh, Alameda back up as much and when he does look he takes those long steps back Alameda and he comes back at the one two and Abner made the point you know he's moved up in weight Neri and Man, uh, is his power, you know, has he brought up as much power with him? Impressed with the poise of Alameda. 
through 11 rounds, but Neri now trying to close the gap. Neri putting together combinations. He may have hurt him with one of those left hands. But Alexander with the jab and digs the left hook to the body. Some good stuff here to close out round number 11. Andy Reynoso trying to rally Luis Neri. 12th and final round between Neri and Aaron Alameda. Who is going to walk out of the fight sphere as a champion? Who is going to walk out of the fight sphere undefeated? Beautiful right hook by Alameda. A reminder that neither of these men have gone 12, so they're both and, in uncharted territory. And now I mentioned maybe the appetizer round 11. Look at how round 12 starts. Yep. Oh, and uh, off balance as Alameda tripped up, but Neri is coming in like the bull. You can see the urgency of Neri, obviously, the, the corner. Having a lot to do with the two time on that. He, he's he's uh, behind on the scorecards. Jab overhand left by Neri. Leans in with his head. Has Alameda along the ropes. Alameda able to escape, but Neri putting on the pressure. Neri trying to wear down Alameda here in the 12th and final round. Oh, but Alameda fires back with a triple jab. Wow, this is what, what we expected, and we are getting it in the 12th round, the most important round of this fight, potentially. You know, Neri, he's leaving himself open for the counter right hook, and a couple have landed, but Alameda's not been able to hurt him with that punch. Alameda has withstood the power of Luis Neri thus far, but a minute 20 now left, and Neri catches him with a left hook, and, and Alameda showing his uh, ring smarts by circling away, separating himself from Neri, ducks underneath that punch. He, he was being a little bit overwhelmed by Neri's aggressiveness and, and volume punching uh, that Alameda uh, wasn't throwing anything. He was just blocking. Neri has to be careful, leading with his head, going to the body. Gets caught with that right hook from Alameda. It's right there for Alameda. And, you know, he just, it, sometimes he lands it and sometimes he doesn't. And will the judges in this round? Oh, there it is again. There it is again, that right it's hook there. for Alameda. And remember, Neri has been down three times. Final 30 seconds. The vacant title hangs in the balance. Two undefeated. Gladiators going at it here. 20 seconds left, and things have really picked up in the latter rounds, especially Luis Neri. And uh, now the Matador, Alameda retreating. 10 seconds left. Strong finish for Luis Neri. Is it enough? Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Julie Letterman scores about 115 to 113. Judge Tom Carason scores at 116 to 112. And Don Ackerman sees it 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. And he is now the WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World. Luis Pantera Neri!